and welcome to the channel it's journal of the scots this is the journal entry just kind of like a me journalizing my journey you know week by week sometimes i may not be able to give you um one week at a time and there'll be like two weeks but i try i'll try to do this uh go forward every week and just kind of a look back of last week maybe it's just think about it as just like a standard uh journal entry so uh, boy, last week, I, I honestly, am, it went by so fast that uh, I've, I think I still have the bags under my eyes. Uh, I am so exhausted as I'm uh, filming this, so hopefully I don't pass out. I'll try to keep it exciting and stay on, on top of things. So um, I did not do a whole lot of building last week. In fact, I don't think I did any building uh, last week's, which I guess is kind of a bad week for me uh, in terms of Lego. However, lots of exciting things that I'll get to as far as the the week goes, uh, and some of it's just triggered because of all of the price increase talk and things like that. So I was definitely impacted by all of that news, and I had a lot of like really deep thinking in terms of how uh, Lego goes, because um, I do have some gift cards left over for my birthday, and I kind of needed to start planning things out, especially with those uh, price increases. But overall, last week really started off with, you know, at the end of the day, it was really a, just a big work week. And I think a lot of uh, folks can probably relate um, when you're either your boss or other, you know, people that you work with are, are on vacation and enjoying themselves, which is perfectly good. We all need that. We all need to go on vacation. Uh, however, I think that really hit me hard uh, last week. As I was going and going, and I, but I think it's also, you know, when these happen, it's also an opportunity, right? It's an opportunity for us uh, to step up, um, put in some good work, and really kind of be that that uh, that team member. And I, I, I definitely put in the work uh, last week. It was long days um, and long nights, and especially so. Last week was probably one of the most challenging weeks I've had. I think mentally because I don't think I've actually talked about it too much on my channel, but I'm currently, and this has been killing me in terms of Lego and why this this studio is still kind of a mess, even my, this whole room is a mess, frankly, is because I'm doing kind of a competition called uh, Go uh, Destination Go, and there's different levels that you need to hit. So if you hit 11,000, you, you get put into a lottery system. Uh, to win like $1,500 uh, on up to 18,000 steps a day to get $2,500 uh, randomly if you get your name drawn. So my goal is to be in the 18,000 step a day drawing. So what I usually shoot for every single day is 20,000 steps. So I don't know if folks know how much uh, 20,000 steps a day is. I know some people their goal is 10,000 steps a day. Um, but to have double of that at 20,000 steps a day is rough. And it's not that hard if you periodically throughout the day take a walk for a couple blocks or even a mile or even, you know, take like a 30 minute walk during lunchtime. If you're really disciplined, you know, you'll end the day, you know, having like 13 to 15,000 steps if you're really active. The problem is, is that when you're really busy, like I was just saying earlier, where you know, you're down, folks. You're you're like stuck in your desk, and you don't even think about it. Next, thing you know, it's one or three, one to three o'clock, and you're at like two thousand steps. So what that means is that you know, unless you're actually running, because you can you know really rack up a lot of steps running, which I'm not running currently. That twenty thousand steps becomes me wandering around the neighborhood at night for like three hours a night just to get it done, right? And doing that over and over and over, it starts to wear on you. And so I think this week it finally caught up to me. So not only are you busy and you're mentally drained, but then you're, you're like, oh my gosh, I have like 12,000 more steps to go. Can I hit that? So there's definitely a couple days where I really, really struggled. It just it was like, oh, and then the other thing, you know, and we'll kind of go through it, is that there was other nighttime events that occur right like my uh my wife had her birthday so happy birthday week uh to mindy uh this week i won't say how old but we we celebrated her birthday this week and then i had another dinner the following night so i had back-to-back -back nights with dinners so you literally go to dinner you don't get any steps at dinner right you might walk into the restaurant 
you plop down and you eat for like two hours, right? So it's like zero steps. You get home and you're still at like 8,000 steps. And so literally, you know, I put everybody to bed and Scott's, and Scott's out walking. That's about all that really happens. So just an insane week in terms of trying to get my steps. I would say the one thing you can kind of do is on the weekends and Friday and stuff like that, you can kind of make up. But I'm telling you right now that I'd rather be like, you know, doing a little gaming on my phone or, you know, or doing some building. I've really been, I guess, uh, neglecting my, my building and my backlog has been growing, which speaking of the backlog and actually you'll see here there is a, a target bag that ha will kind of talk into a haul very small uh, target haul just kind of a it was a little bit of last minute I had some other odds and ends to get and of course it can't escape uh, without making a haul out of it and then the other one if you'll see this one's going to be on next week is this is my price increase panic buy <laughs> is what you'll see so uh, you'll have to check out on the mystery sets available there and uh, I think I mean I hope I mean I don't know knock on wood there's still plenty of sets I mean I think the big debate for me in terms of Lego is there's just so many great sets coming out I love castle I think I've made the decision to, to delay my castle purchasing because a I want to finish Tatooine. I, I want to do a Vader's castle with a, a Sith underground I have a lot of more Star Wars centric things plus I have You know some of the Star Wars sets. I'm pretty sure from last year by the end of the year are probably gonna get uh, completely, you know, pr probably retire out for good for a while so my priority was to kind of stick to my guns with Star Wars. Um, maybe I'll keep building up some points and kind of saving up, and then maybe things will be different next year. Um, you know, never know if, like, you know, speaking of work, whether it's promotions or other things, you know, I can't, I can only live in the moment, and I feel like the Star Wars sets, the castle will be around for probably about two years, and the Star Wars sets that I still want are potentially retiring, plus... There was a rumor of a price increase on that particular set, so you'll have to uh, make that judgment what I decided to. So stay tuned for Wednesday. I should be dropping that video. So that's pretty much it. Oh, I how can I even forget? One last thing before I saw off is that you'll see I'm wearing an adultish shirt. That's pretty much what we did. We kind of adulted this weekend. We had our, our annual, if you anybody who's on my Instagram probably saw me post it was the beer pong party 2022 and we we had a blast and uh, cuz we host a party every year we love hosting our friends and family and really everybody in the neighborhood <laughs> i think we invited half the town uh to our house and it was an absolute blast we had um two pickleball courts like street courts set up just to kind of nostalgia for when we we started street street pickleball uh back in our neighborhood way back a couple years ago when the pandemic started and then we had um we had frisbee toss where you knock the beer bottle off the poles and stuff like that that was uh that was happening we had uh karaoke we did beer pong of course for the beer pong party um, just lots of backyard stuff with uh, music going and it was just a blast I, I haven't had a, a good time like that in a while uh, but it was a lot of work and so I'm, I'm still drained maybe even a little slow and hungover <laughs> uh, from that so that is it that was the last week it was a heck of a week just a killer uh, a heavy work week um, got some snuck some Lego in if you will uh, had fun with friends family in the neighborhood so you really can't beat that it was just a great week now i'm just tired <laughs> and need to recover from that of course next week is looking like a busy week um get to ha have some new employees i'm really excited about uh onboarding in fact i'm hire i've hired a whole new new team so i'm really excited about that and it's just going to be fun uh onboarding people uh, probably, hopefully not hauls. I'm kind of done with hauls for a little bit. Although I've said that like six times, and I think I've done eight hauls in the last month. Uh, just don't tell anybody that I've done eight hauls in the last month. So with that, thank you so much for joining me and letting me ramble about my last week. And we'll catch you on the next journal entry.